Part 10. Graphs in a practical situation. You will find this on page 150 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Graphs in practical situations. In a variety of real life situations, use can be made of straight line graphs whose coordinates of points represent physical quantities. Conversion graphs. A straight line graph can be used to convert one set of units to another. For instance, when on holiday abroad, it can help if a distance in miles can be converted immediately to an equivalent distance in kilometers. Converting from one currency to another is easier on a graph. Example 14. This graph can be used to convert speed from miles per hour to kilometers per hour and conversely. Okay, so use the graph to find a speed of 50 miles per hour in kilometers per hour. So go to the mile per miles per hour. This is the axis. So basically just take your ruler, go to 50. Okay, can you see it's between 40 and 60 exactly in the middle there? And I draw it up. And as soon as it touched that graph, Okay, I think I'm a little bit low there. I draw it to this side. Okay, and if I think I could have been a little bit higher with this one. Let me just show you. Okay, let's redo it. So if I just, I'm just going to redraw this one. But then you will see it's going to be exactly... 80 kilometers per hour. Okay, the next one, 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, so now I don't go to the miles per hour, I go to the kilometers per hour. And that is going to be 100. And where it touched there, I'm just going to go straight to my axis. Now, if I look at this one, it seems to me, again, I'm a little, little bit too low. Let's just redo it. You must be very accurate, especially if the graph paper is... Okay, oh, that's a better one. That's a better one. And where it touch there, I'm just going straight. Okay, now I just have to look at the scale. Now, look at the first unit. That's 20. Now, divide it by the amount of blocks. That's 10. So that's two units per block. So basically it's going to be 60, 62. Can you see that? There's the answer. Okay. And then the last one, 22 miles per hour. Now remember it's 2. So let's just take a color again. And if it's 22, okay, again I forgot the ruler. Take your ruler. And where it's going to touch, Let's just move it up a little bit. And then I'm just going straight to my... Okay, let's just redo that one. Okay. Now, again, find your units. If you must see, the first unit is 20. There's your 20. How many small blocks? 5. And 20 divided by 5 is 4 units per block. So that means 20, 24, 26, and then it's, oh, let's just start again, 24, then it's 28, then it's 30, then it's 36. So, and that's how I came to the 36 kilometers per hour. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, I want you to do for me, try now 14, all the values. And I want you to use the graph, stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now 14. Let's start with number A. The graph can be used to convert mass from kilograms to pounds and conversely. 
use the graph to convert a mass of 20 kilograms. Okay, so just take your ruler, go to the kilogram scale, draw, and as soon as it touch, go straight down. And now, you must first find that scale. So if you look at that scale, it's going to be 40, your first unit, divide, it's 5, 10 blocks. So it's 4 units per block. Okay, so that's 40, and then one move on 44. So the answer of A will be 44, and it's in pound. Okay, number B. Okay, Let's just scratch that one first. Then 120 pounds. So go to your 120 pound. Go up, 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 up. Where it touch, it goes straight to your, to this axis. Okay, and now if you are reading, but let's first find the scale. So if we must find the scale, again the first unit is 10. Divide, but now it's only 5 blocks. So it's 2 units per block. So this will be 50, 52, 54. So the answer will be 54, therefore, just say therefore, 54 kilogram. And then the next one, number C, 45 kilogram. Okay, remember it's between 40 and 50. So exactly in the middle there. Oh, let's just get the ruler again. Okay, I just want to still go a little bit up. Okay, exactly. And where it touch, go down. And that's going to give you an answer of exactly in the middle between 80 and 120. So the value of C will be 100. Oh, let's just get that pin correct. So the value of C will be 100 pound. Okay. And then the last one, 40 pound, go to your pound scale again. So if it's 40, okay, do you see it here? Again, I forgot my ruler. And then where it touch, I go down. Okay, now remember, this one was counting two units per block. So it's 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Or 20 minus 2, that will be 18. That will be 18 kilogram. And that will be my, that's how I use a graph to convert between units.